We go to break and come back and look at us. We're all having some wine. That's right. Thanks for joining us back here on Wisconsin Women. We took a little road trip to Browntown, Wisconsin. We love supporting local and coincidentally love a good wine. So this That's is right. the perfect segment. We're joined now by one of the owners, Teresa Jornalin, who is with Hawks Mill Winery. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for coming out. We love chatting with you and now we get to be here in your space. A great space, by the way. Beautiful. Holiday. Thank you. It's very Thank beautiful. You. But I want to share with viewers at home a little bit about some of your wines. Now with names like Weenie White, the Geezer, <laughs> and Nick Knack Frontenac, some really <laughs> cute names. Do you make all of your own wines? We do. We make everything on site here. Uh, we've got a production building across the driveway here where everything is, is made. Wow, really impressive, mm -hmm. all here locally. And you know, I, I was reading that you have some award-winning wines made right here. How exciting. We do, yeah. When we, we started out, uh, that was not one of our goals, to make award-winning wines. Uh -huh. We wanted to make good wines at a fair price uh, and give customers an atmosphere and an environment where they felt welcome and wanted to come back. Uh -huh. um, in the meantime, we have done quite a few award-winning wines. We're actually 10 for 10 in, in wines that we've submitted to competitions. Wow. So, isn't that exciting? Yeah. International, that. too. International. Yeah, it's an international competition. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Well, we've yeah. been enjoying a little bit of tasting here. Mm -hmm. Can you tell our viewers how tastings work if sure. they want to come in? Yeah, absolutely. So when you come in, um, we have a wine list. And we typically have anywhere from 18 to 20 wines on the list at any given time. Uh, and our flights run six wines for $4. So it's very easy to come in and try things that maybe you wouldn't normally try if you were forced to like buy a bottle somewhere. Mm -hmm. um, so we encourage people to get outside of the box, try things that they wouldn't. Do you mean that literally? No wine boxes. <laughs> no wine boxes. No <laughs> wine boxes. Outside of the box. Ditch um, the box. But you can try anything on our list from dry to sweets and everything in between. Wow, I think that's great. You're right, it does help you. You do kind of tend to gravitate towards ones you know exactly. if you that's can't right. try it because you don't want to get a whole bottle that's right. not great. Mm -hmm. Now, some people prefer really sweet wines. Some people prefer more dry wines. Let's talk a little bit about what the term dry really means. Okay. Uh, dry means that there's absolutely no sugar left. So when you start with the grapes, oh. Oh. Uh, you ferment down so that all the sugar, the natural sugars in the grapes, have been converted to alcohol. Okay. And that means dry. And there can be varying degrees of dry. So we do have several dries that we carry here. Hmm. That is interesting. Okay. But you also have different varieties because you know I am I am a wine connoisseur, but my you know like I told you I love German wines. We all have to have talent. That's right. right. <laughs> you know, German wines are my favorite. The sweeter German wines. Right. So what kind of other varieties do you have here? Uh, well, the weenie white that we have on the table is a Moscato. Can we say weenie that without white. giggling? Cute. <laughs> 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 We well, did have a Gewürztraminer, which is a German grape. Okay. Uh, we don't currently have that one on the, the menu right uh -huh. now. Um, but we do have a Gieser, which the is Gieser. also a, okay. a German, um, it's a, a Giesenheim, it's a German uh -huh. derivative. So we like to experiment and try a lot of different things. We carry a Chardonnay and um, the Raptor is a Malbec. So. And I felt a little guilty because I'm not really much of a wine drinker. <laughs> and so Teresa outfitted me with this, and I really do like this. Good. So talk about the sweets and semi-sweets. Okay, mm -hmm. so the difference or the opposite of dry would be sweet. Uh, and we do carry a fair amount of semi-sweet and sweet wines as well. Um, usually a novice wine drinker will usually start on the sweet end of the scale and then eventually their palate begins to change and they go a little drier. Which um, one is this that I'm drinking? You are drinking the Weenie White, which oh. is our Moscato. <laughs> Giggle. Okay. Yeah, we that's right. <laughs> yeah. But and that's good to know because if you are bringing wine to somebody who you're not sure if they're a big wine drinker, maybe go a little bit sweeter. A sweeter Try or the middle of the road is usually a good, a right. good option because okay. if they're dry, they usually can drink a semi-dry or semi-sweet right. and, and the same way with, uh, with a sweet drinker. Okay, pun not intended, Janet. <laughs> uh, let's talk about this great space. So it's a great place to hang out. In fact, you can't even mm -hmm. see, but we've got a little bit of an audience up here. Yeah, we've got absolutely. some folks hanging out today <laughs> as we're filming. But that's because it's such a nice inviting space and you do some events here. We do. Um, we are doing things, uh, tomorrow is National Margarita Day, so we're doing uh, white wine margaritas all day, starting at 11 o'clock. Uh, we do, uh, on Sunday we're having Boogie Woogie Bingo, which is a fun <laughs> twist on the traditional bingo game to music. Um, that's, that's been a, a real blast. So we do lots of music events, just anything, you know, that will bring people 
people in and, and give them some time to enjoy their time here. Absolutely. And other than hosting those kinds of events, folks can book your place for their own events too. Absolutely. We have our event pavilion for large parties. Mm -hmm. uh, we also do smaller like bridal showers or you know bachelorette parties here in the tasting room as well. Wow. So you have an amazing view and if you want mm -hmm. to check it out yourself, I noticed that on your website you can do a virtual tour. You can. Yeah. Yep. So mm -hmm. you can check it out yourself and see the view and see the interior of, of mm -hmm. the place here too. And since you brought up the website, we've talked about it before with you, Teresa, but I think it's worth mentioning again to Janet's point you bragged about the website so much I had to go back and look at the pairings it's awesome mm -hmm. yep. and you That's can nice see stuff. so much space you've got great videos but you can also buy and ship have wine shipped to you, you can. right on the oh, website wow. you can so that's yep, right to our web. Yep. For viewers so who aren't in the area. Something I like is all these names that are so creative. How do you come up with the names? <laughs> oh, it's a What's team effort. <laughs> we, we really utilize everybody from our tasting room staff to our production folks to just say, we have a wine coming up. What do you, what, what's a fun name? What should we name it? So it, it's, we kind of do a, a little bit of a mm -hmm. vote and, uh -huh. and we've, Come up with some pr pretty creative. The ones. one behind me has two pups on it, so we've got the one with one. This is the Doodle White. Yep. So these are actually yours, right? Right. Those are our two golden doodles, Marty and Yankee, named Doodle White. This one is actually named after uh, Brutus, who is Nikki, our general manager's uh, doxy. So <laughs> oh she was gosh. jealous of the Doodle White, so she <laughs> thought she needed a wee. I love it. If someone feels left out, you just have to make a new wine. That's no right. big deal. That's right. <laughs> what are some of the favorite names? Uh, there's the one. <laughs> Go ahead, I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> uh, Happy Melons, Yes, that's, that's a fan <laughs> favorite. Uh, we, we did that one as a donation back to breast cancer research for the Susan oh, G. Komen Foundation. So we've got fun t-shirts and I actually am sponsoring a team uh, for the walk in Madison in June. So we're encouraging people to sign up and, and join our team. We get oh, a, nice. a walk t-shirt as well as a Happy Melons t-shirt. Wow. <laughs> Doodles, geezers, mm -hmm. and, and melons. 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 <laughs> and currently single. <laughs> yes, I'm currently single. Oh my God. That's, that's a, just one. That's a good uh, gift for yeah. somebody, maybe. That's right. right. I love that's it, just right. as a joke. So much fun. Well, I'll remind people when Margarita Day is so that they can come and enjoy that event here. Uh, that is tomorrow. Okay. Um, starting at 11 a.m. Um, you that have would an, be, I'm, what is today, February 21st. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you have an events link on your website if they we want do. to see what's yeah. coming up. We so, do. Sure. You might have missed that one, but there's more in the future, so no worries. Absolutely. That's right. Well, thank you for having us. We've loved being yeah. here. Thanks thank for coming. You. Yeah, let's take a cheers out all to right. break. I want to thank all of our guests for joining us today. Of course, cheers. thank you for watching. We'll see you next time here on Wisconsin Women.